This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover the conveyor belt. If you recall, there was a map in UT called DM Conveyor, and there's this nice little conveyor belt that the players can walk on. So let's first of all take a look at it in the game. As you can see, it goes from one part of the map all the way to the other, and here I am, I'm not moving, and yet the conveyor belt is moving me along. So while I'm here, I can stand, I can look around, and it'll move me up to the second floor, and then, as you can see here, it'll make a left-hand turn, and I'm still not moving, so the conveyor belt is moving me across the map. So let's take a look at it in the editor. Here is the map in question, and let me turn on the dynamic view. So as you can see, first you have this brush, which is a very simple texture, and I'll show you where to get that. You have also the U-Pan property under texture properties. I've already done a tutorial about that. And then the trick to the conveyor belt is if I go into, if I turn this off, and go into zone view, you can see that above the conveyor belt, there's actually a separate zone. So as you can see, if I go in, it changes color. And in here, that's where you put in your zone info. And then you set the velocity right there and whether you choose the X velocity or the Y velocity will depend on the direction of the conveyor belt. And in this case, the conveyor belt is going left to right in the top view of your map. So that's why you're putting velocity into the X axis. So you are here and there is one zone here, which is flat, but then the conveyor belt moves up. So here is another zone in here which is going up and that's a different color and again that has another zone info as well with its own zone velocity so these pieces are basically one two three as you can see it's another color and then when it makes the left hand turn four another color so in this particular case there are four different zones, each one with a zone info, and each one setting a zone velocity. So let's try to make our own simple example. So here is my very simple example. If I just show you from the side view, I have one square room here. Let me just click on that. One square room, and then a little bit of a hallway here, this one here, and then leading up to a higher room up there so very simple and therefore I want the conveyor belt to move me from here up onto the second floor so the first thing is you go into your texture browser you open up the package which is called rain effects And in here, you will find the conveyor belt texture, which is right here. It is called Runner. And as you can see from the dimensions, it is 128 wide and then 258 across. So we're going to make our brush to match those proportions. So here is the first brush. Let me just select it for you. There is the first brush. And as you can see, the texture has been applied. And then if I right click, choose properties, you can see that I have a V pan in this particular case. And the reason why this is a V pan is because I had to rotate this texture 90 degrees to make it go along in this way. So you need to do a little bit of experimentation. And then that's why it's a V pan instead of what you might think should be a U pan. So that's the first brush. The second brush is this piece right here. Again, same thing, same texture, 
had to rotate at 90 degrees. And again, I had to choose VPAN to make sure that it was moving in the same direction as the first piece. And then the third piece is down here. There's your third piece there. And just to get the ball rolling, I made one zone portal. If I click on this and move this away, you can see it there. This is a non-solid brush by using this, let me just click on that, by using this button called Add Special here you choose zone portal that'll make it automatically a zone portal non-solid and invisible and so that's what you see there so there's a zone there which is invisible to the player as you can see it's invisible only viewable if you turn off your dynamic preview go into zone view and there you can see it and then when I move inside you can see that's a different color and then here you add a zone info and how you do that is you come up to your actor browser info see the info zone info so that's how you add the zone info to your map you right click choose properties go down to the zone info section zone velocity and that I put actually a hundred it's probably too fast you probably want to be slower than that, but it gives you the idea. So there's a hundred. And then when I hit build and play, so here's the conveyor belt. And as soon as I jump in, it starts to move me. But as you can see, it's a little bit quick because it doesn't quite match the slowness of the animation. If I go, but it's not too bad. So you could probably experiment with that. So the last piece I need to do is to fill out the rest of my ramp. So let's go back up here to this second piece. And uh, just so I can put it into this view. Here is the second piece and I want to use vertex editing to drag this piece down to the ground. Let's go into this view so you can see a side view of the ramp. Now what you do is you go to vertex editing mode, which is this one. Click on that. And now you can see how your cursor has changed its uh, appearance. What you're going to do is you want to select these four corners of the brush so you can drag them at the same time. So what you need to do is in this window because this is the window where you can see all four of them from the side you hold down control and alt and left mouse button and then drag so you get this little red square and you make sure you've covered those two corners and you let go now you can see that only these four corners are highlighted uh, white Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. Now, you hold down your control key plus your left mouse button and drag them down so they meet these two spots here on the floor. So hold down your control key and your left mouse button. I'm just going to zoom in so I make sure I do it right and then let go. Now go back to camera mode. and hit the build button so now you can see that they're joined at the right spot then a simple fix is to right click on this surface go to alignment rotate 90 and now you have your proper animation here so now we have a ramp and it's connecting both pieces, this one on the top and this piece on the bottom. 
we're now going to do the same trick with the zone portal. The first thing you need to do is you need to reduce your grid size. I'm going to reduce it down to four, I guess. I'm going to take the portal that I made already, which is here. Let's duplicate that. Move this into position. So you can see how it's perfectly aligned with the previous zone brush there. Now we're going to do the same trick with vertex editing. Hold down Control and Alt and the left mouse button. Drag your red square over to these two spots and let go. Now hold down the Control key and the left mouse button and drag it up. and then let go. Go to camera view. So that zone is done. And if I rebuild, you can see it. There, you can see the other one. And if I go inside, you'll see it's a different color. Now we need to do one more, which is taking this one, duplicate, and move this up here. And now a little bit of vertex editing to shorten this brush. So now if I build, you can see that I have three zones. One here, one there, a different color, and then the final one there. So there's my three zones. Now I need to add a zone info into each of those zones. So let's take this guy, duplicate. This one's going to go into this zone here. then duplicate again. And let's go in the final piece, which is in there. So now I have a zone portal for each of my sections and a zone info inside. Let me show that to you when I'm inside. There's the other one. And since I duplicated, they will all have their zone velocity the same, which is 100. Now let's try this in the game. So now that we have a working conveyor belt, the last thing you need to do is to add some sound effects. So you go into View, Actor, Keypoint, Ambient Sound. Let's add one here and move this into position. Let's put it right above, right there. 
then you right click on the ambient sound you click on sound and you choose one so you have to click on the three dots here open ambient modern so I'll just show you how to do that ambient modern you go into looping and you can choose any of these looping sounds the one they use in the map is machine 4 so click on use I'm going to turn down the volume a bit and now let's duplicate it just to have one all over each piece like so and then duplicate it again for the top like so now we rebuild and try it So you see how quickly I was able to make that conveyor belt. The only thing left to do would be to add a little trim on the sides here. So in the official map you'll see there's an extra brush that's a little bit thicker, a little bit higher, and it's on the sides of it to make it, well, quote unquote more realistic. I would definitely recommend you check out DM Conveyor in the editor.